Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. Also, be sure to turn off the water to your dishwasher. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the sump gasket in a Bosch dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips and a Torque 20 screwdrivers, a 5 16 inch nut driver, a 5 8 open and a wrench, and a needle nose pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new sump gasket. The sump gasket seals the large opening at the bottom of the cabinet where the sump is mounted. If the sump gasket dries up, it would cause a water leak. The main symptoms of the leaking sump gasket would be a constantly running drain pump, even when the door is open. See if there's water inside the base of the dishwasher and then check the sump gasket and replace it if needed. Open the door and using the Phillips screwdriver, take out the two screws that hold the dishwasher to the countertop. Pull out the lower dish rack. Remove the lower spray arm by pulling it straight up. Unscrew and remove the filter basket, turning it counterclockwise. Remove the fine filter. Take out the two torque 20 screws that hold the spray arm support to the sump housing. Next, take out two torque 20 screws and remove both sump supports. Using the torque 20 screwdriver, take out the six screws that hold the outer door, three on each side. Close the door and pull the outer panel down and out to remove it. If one or both bottom spacers falls out, simply put it back on. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take the two screws on the sides of the kick panel out. Remove the kick panel. Take the two torque 20 screws out and remove the inner access panel. Remove the plastic cover from the inner access panel. Remove the insulation. Put the towel in the plastic container under the shadow valve just in case of the water will leak down. And then using the 5 8 open ended wrench, take off the water line. Then using the 5 16 inch nut driver, loosen up the hose clamp and remove the drain hose from the air gap. Be careful, there is still some water inside the hose. Use the container or the towel. Pull the dishwasher out. Using the torque 20 screwdriver, take out four screws, two on each side, that hold the side panels. Remove one side panel. And close the door. Remove the hinge rope cover. Using the needle nose pliers, remove the hinge rope hook from the door hinge. And now repeat the procedure on the opposite side. Take out the two torque 20 screws in the front and two in the back that holds the base to the cabinet. Place the dishwasher on its back. Make sure the holders are not under the dishwasher. Prepare to catch some water. Remove the pressure chamber to sump hose from the retainer and then pull it out of the sump. Rotate the hose out of the way. Using the torque 20 screwdriver, remove two corner bracket screws. Pull the base of the dishwasher cabinet. Hold the sump and motor assembly so it won't fall down. Remove the old sump gasket. and clean the opening as good as you can. This is the old sump gasket next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com.
put some liquid soap on a gasket and install the new thumb gasket. Push the base in so the thumb gasket is mounted over the opening. Place the two motor supports into the openings in the base. Make sure the thumb bottom support is properly seated on the rubber pad. Watch for the thumb's top bottom and the two motor supports. Match the holes and install the two torque 20 screws at the brackets. Insert the pressure chamber to thumb holes and push it in as far as it will go. Tuck it under the retainer. Lock the terminal cover down. Slowly lift the dishwasher upright. Secure the base to the dishwasher cabinet with the two torque 20 screws in front and two at the back. Using the needle nose pliers, reinstall the hinge rope hook on the hinge. Install the hinge rope cover on. Repeat the procedures on the other side. Install the side panels, first the bottom, then the two plastic tabs at the rear. And secure them with the four torque 20 screws. And install the dishwasher under the counter. Pull the drain hose, the inlet hose, and the power cord through the divider. Let's manually thread on the water line onto the shadow valve and tighten it using 5 8 open ended wrench. And then we can take out the towel and the container. Connect the drain hose to the air gap and tighten the clamp with the 5 16 inch nut driver. Place the insulation in. Clip on the plastic cover. Install the inner access panel and secure it with the two torque 20 screws. Install the kick panel and secure it with the two Phillips screws. Install the outer door panel and secure it to the inner door with the six torque 20 screws. Open the door and install the two thumb supports and secure them with the two torque 20 screws. Install both torque 20 spray arm support screws. Then goes the fine filter. Screw in the filter basket, turning it clockwise. Reinstall the lower spray arm by pushing it in until it locks. Slide in the lower dish rack. Using the Phillips screwdriver, secure the dishwasher to the countertop with the two screws and close the door. Turn the water on, plug the dishwasher in, and run it to check for leaks. Hopefully, there is none. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.